Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roblox video. We're back on Power Legends Tycoon because, well, the video I made on it did pretty well, so I'll make another one. Though I'm not just going to showcase every single tycoon because, you know, like, you know, there are some lower tier ones, you know. Who's interested in those? Instead, I'm going to show you the best three in the game. These are higher level tycoons, basically what you have to look forward to if you're new. So, we'll go from weakest to strongest, starting with Celestial. Now, you might be like, what? Celestial isn't weak, if you've played this game before. And no, Celestial isn't weak. None of the three I'll show are weak in... Well, none of the three I'll show are weak. They are all strong tycoons. But, something that a lot of higher level players don't realize is that Celestial is act in a 1v1 where with two equal skill players the one with samurai would defeat the one with celestial okay S samurai is stronger than celestial okay just in a straight 1v1 skip with the same skill level for both players you know, samurai would win most likely okay Celestial is a special power, all right? You have the regular powers and special powers. So you have Celestial. It requires 1 million cash, 1,000 T2 shards, and 500 T3 shards, as well as 20 rebirths. The aura it gives will give you plus 60 health, plus 14 speed, and plus 16 jump. And this is what it looks like, you know. Use them. All right, so Star Staff is basically this wand looking thing does about okay 25 damage i think yeah that's 25 damage energy sphere all right okay so that's 32 damage at least that's how it looked yep 32 damage collect all these so you know and it is a fast recharge though only five seconds 32 damage is not a lot all right but the area of effect is definitely good celestial is definitely an area of effect based tycoon all right stellar float is not an attack but a buff it lets you like literally just float every time you hit the jump for a few seconds. I'm just gonna grab that. Star Blazer. I was told this has inconsistent damage. Which. Uh, I need to say that again. Okay, so it seems to just create an area where everything hits. All right. I can't really tell what the actual total damage is, but that's all right. Now, Divine Blessing. Okay, so what Divine Blessing does is it is a healing ability. You can see our health is going up. And, yeah, our health was going up a lot faster than, than the standard regeneration. Though we still aren't at full health. Now, energy outburst. Basically, it just creates an area where energy is blowing. It's a... Where energy is just shooting out. Now, a great thing about Celestial is that a lot of its moves have a really fast recharge. You can see that's just constant damage. 200 health. Okay, so it's 10 damage. Seems to be like 10 damage a second. Okay, and it stopped at 100. So it does 100 total damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Next, we have the ultimate. And now ultimate is Celestial Fury. For those of you who've seen this tycoon, this is probably the move you're... This is the move that... Everyone loves on this tycoon. 
basically just this area of effect of just constant damage. And it seems to do 250 damage, okay? So yeah, 250 damage, not bad at all. So yeah, that is Celestial. In terms of overall damage, I would definitely say it is... It definitely hits hard, alright? This is definitely a hard-hitting Tycoon. But, not the heaviest hitter out there. Alright? This is definitely the biggest strength that this Tycoon has, is its area of effect. Alright? A lot of its moves have a really wide area of effect. This kind of is my favorite Tycoon. And not just because I'm named Ronin. Okay, so... To get Samurai, you need only 25 Rebirths. Alright, it's not one of the special Tycoons, even though it's better than Celestial. You don't need as much to get it. You just need 25 Rebirths. Instead of having to spend cash and shards and stuff. The Aura gives you 45 health, 14 speed, and 15 jump. Okay, so Katana is basically just a Katana. 36, so that would be 34 damage. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Focus jump is basically just a teleport. It teleports you straight up in the air. Bit of a sizable cooldown. But yeah, it's just, you know, just a jump straight up. Fury slash. You know, is basically just a barrage of slash based attacks. I'll see if I can get the total damage. Alright, so that would be 125 total damage, alright? So, not bad, not bad. But it is just the first floor power, so... Yeah. Not the best, but it is just the first floor power. And it has a fast recharge. You know, 8 seconds, not bad. So the next move is one that does not work on NPCs. But instead, in PvP. Illusion creates four of these guys. It basically creates four copies of yourself that run in different directions. And the thing about this move is that it all of them had a sort of blue glow around them. But you get that glow too. So you can very easily escape with this power. I know because I've both been I've been on both sides of this power. It works. You can just Run away like that, and yeah. It works. Alright. Dark Pulse. It deals heavy damage on the first hit, but then continues to deal damage while they're inside the area of effect. In total, that's 160 damage. And it has a pretty nice recharge. Alright, very nice. Then, we got the next move, and this move is what makes Samurai the second strongest Tycoon. I mean, the ult is really good, but, but Immortal Fire makes this one the strongest Ty- the second strongest. So, for this one, we'll take some damage. That's it, guys. Come on. Now what this does is, no matter what your health is, it fully heals you, and then adds 500 health to your health for a few seconds. About like 10 seconds. So, yeah. You can tank nearly any attack with this. Supposedly there's a way to survive no matter how much damage there is, if you can just time it right, but uh, I'm not good at timing things like that. But yeah. This move allows you to tank nearly anything. There are definitely moves I can still one-shot you, and one-shot anyone, but this, but Immortal Fire, definitely really powerful. Now Blazing Edge, I'll gather a few because it can affect multiple players, it can affect multiple targets. As you can see, they're trapped here. Deal some damage, and then the sword comes down. 
So yeah, 50 damage straight off the bat, like immediately. And then it does an additional... Um, 140 damage, okay? So 190 damage total. So not the most heavy hitter. You're not going to one-shot higher level players. Oop, wrong one. So yeah, you're not going to one-shot everyone with it. Like, like some people believe you can. You can't, all right? This isn't just a one-shot. It just one-shots lower tier players. But it still gets a stun, and, you know, while they're stunned, you can hit them with other moves. Like, they're locked in place, so you can just, you know, hit them with that, hit them with that, you know. Hit them with other moves as well. Now, I'm not used to this kind of hot bar allotment, so, you know, I'd use other moves as well, but, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's what Samurai has to offer, second strongest tycoon in the game. Let's go ahead and use the strongest tycoon, space. To get space, you need 150 reapers, 10 million cash, 15,000 T2 shards, and 10,000 T3 shards. It is the hardest one to grind for, but it is definitely worth getting. All right. The aura gives you plus 100 health, Plus 12 speed and plus 20 jump. Definitely a good aura to get. And really cool looking as well. Okay, so first up, we got the Nova Slasher. 80 damage, so definitely the strongest melee out there. Zeus's Moons, let's... 150 damage, it fires three moon orbs in rapid speed. And as you can see, they're just down to half health. And it's a fast recharge. Not the strongest move in the game, but definitely the highest damage of these range type moves. Alright, range type moves like this, definitely this has some of the highest damage. Next up, we have one of my favorites, Rings of Kronos. Basically creates this little area of effect around you that deals some damage. You don't have to run around, but it does like 200 damage total. So, And it has a really fast recharge. Like by the time it's finished, you have like three seconds till you can use it again. So really, really good move right here. Hermes Guidance is a... Speed. Basically, it speeds you up, doesn't really increase your jump, but as you can see, we're moving really fast, and it lasts for several seconds. Has a pretty fast cooldown, which is real, which is always nice. Alright, so it lasts about 8 seconds. Pretty nice. Definitely one of the coolest looking buffs, buff moves out there. Then you got Asteria's Meteors. And what this does... Basically, it creates a sort of barrage of meteors where you're looking at. There is another move, Meteor Shower, and Meteor Shower does more damage, but Asteria's Meteors has a faster cooldown and more accuracy. Now, not everything hit, but we did get a few hits in there, if I can see them. All right. About 187 out of 300. Uh, I need to do some math here. So we, we got 113 damage off of this. And you know with fast cooldown. It does take a second. So you're going to have to time it. it. So yeah it does have a bit of a charge. Then you have Helios Flare. I'm going to just use that on these guys. Just to show. Okay, it one-shot them. And that guy. So, okay, we're obviously dealing with more than 300 damage. Basically, if um, you've seen Celeste... Basically, if you've been watching this point... 
All right, if you saw Celestial earlier, this is basically Celestial's ultimate attack on steroids. It's bigger, it does more damage, you know, bigger area of effect. The area of effect extends past the actual effect of the move. So yeah, it's bigger, it's more damage, and it's a faster cooldown. So use it on this guy, 600 health. Let's see. 40 health left, that means this move does 560 damage with only a 30 second cooldown. It is definitely powerful. So if you can combine it with like a, a stun move, like a slowness or a straight stun, you will deal heavy damage with this. I'm just gonna get rid of these because they aren't important. And then we have the alt. Now the alt, there is only one NPC that can survive this, and that is the shadow demon boss. As you can see, he has 4,000 health. We're just gonna use this on him. Now what this does is it draws everything near it, whether you're ally or an enemy, it will draw them nearby it. It has insane area of effect. As you can see, the dude all the way over there got killed by this. And he has 1,500 health left, so this move does 2,500 damage. However, it does have a sizable cooldown, which <laughs> that's fair. But yeah, 2,500 damage with this move alone. This move is what makes space the most dangerous tycoon in the game. All right, so yeah, you would be able to destroy pretty much anyone unless they have extremely good timing. We'll see what. Also, one more thing about Hermes Guidance. If you get hit by any kind of stunning or slowness effect while you have this move active, it will bug out. You will get you will get slowed down, and then once Hermes Guidance wears off, you will not be able to move until you use it again. And then once you use it again, you'll only be able to move at normal speed. Okay? So yeah. Now, they can't survive long enough for me to show you, but basically everything that... Basically everything will get pulled into it. It is insanely powerful. And why, if you manage to kill a space tycoon user, he is either going you easy on he's going easy on you. Okay. Yeah. This move beats the super beam. Okay. This move is more dangerous than the super beam because the super beam you can dodge. The super beam is dodgeable. This move, it's not very easy to escape. You use it, you'll get pulled into it. You might be able to get away. Somewhat, if you have dashes, you can spam, but you get caught in it, you're very likely going to die. So yeah, that's basically everything you need to know about the different, about the top three tycoons in this game. So yeah, I might also do a tier list video, talking about the different backpack abilities, you know, just everything, you know, all the powers in the game, like not tycoon related, but the non-tycoon powers. I might make a video tier list on that if anyone wants. Yeah, I might do that at some point if I can get all of them. Still have a few left, but yeah. So anyway, that is the top three tycoons in the game. You have Celestial, then you have Samurai, and then you have Space, all right? I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this has helped in some way. Helped you figure out what each of the powers do what the top three tycoons can do. There aren't a lot of videos on this game, nor are there a huge amount of players. If you haven't played this game before and you like tycoon games, then definitely pick this one up. It needs more players. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed or this has helped you in any way, please be sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, as those always help the channel out. And yeah, with that, my friends, sayonara.